welcome back to FTB Infinity Expert Mode. I'm CZ Survivor with my good friend Screen Blast. Working on a project. Yes, you are. But first, this video is proudly sponsored by Lux Heart Smart Shirt Shop. Use the promo code CZ Survivor in lowercase for five percent off. Links and that are down in the description. So yeah, Screen Blast is working on a little project. But before we look at that, things that I've done since last episode. First of all, Ender Lilies. I found some in a chest underneath the spidered great wood trees. So a great wood tree with spidered cobwebs over it, somewhere in the world, I can't remember. I uh, decided to make some end stone via the Tinker Smeltery and start growing on here. It's a bit slow, takes a week for them to grow, but we're up to 13 ender pearls now, which is very nice. Next fall, the ag craft crops are coming along nicely. I got potatoes up to 10, 10, 10, and they're working on carrots. And all that's left is Britannia and Agrocraft flowers. And another thing, we have added a sprinkler to the pumpkin farm for the pumpkin yogurts. They grow ever so slightly faster, which is very nice. As you can see, I've just got a liquid transfer node filling up a water tank, which goes into an irrigation channel, which goes onto a sprinkler. So we'll just seal this back up, uh, the blocks. And we're down to screen bass project um oh also one more thing down here underneath let's see best if i crack this open underneath here oops i just broke it was a comparator so let's just try putting this back and it was basically reading this uh no this is gonna be fun to try and get it back in, out, yep, it's working. And basically when that gets turned on to five ticks of power, it basically cuts transmission of yogurt to this, which is saying that the energy cell is getting pretty full and to stop producing everything. So you can see we've got a nice large amount. Uh, why aren't you harvesting? Oh yeah, so all right, I remember. Uh, we still need to link up one more energy flux duct, but we'll do that shortly. So now to have a look at a little screen blast little project. Um, I'll leave out that so I remember to make the energy flux duct thing. Uh, get my electric jetpack, that's one more thing that I also made. If we come down here, we are setting up a nuclear reactor room because we want to get started on nukes. Now there's a few more things I need <coughs> to craft before we can do it. It's a little complex of a process, isn't it? Um. Well, let's just say this is the lobby. No nuclear reactors will be right next to where you're sleeping. Yeah, so I'm going to get some crafting done. We've got a few things we can craft already, but other stuff still needs some more resources. So we'll be back once we've got that. So let's quickly make a few things that we can. I need to take that out. Now, inside this chest, we have nine reactor chambers done. And with those nine reactor chambers, we need to use three to make a nuclear reactor. Basically on each side of the nuclear reactor you can put a chamber which increases the space inside the reactor so you can produce more power or create a bigger explosion if you make mistakes. So yeah that's that. Now other thing I want to make is this which is a mass fabricator because this current reactor that we're making isn't designed for power production really, it's designed to produce plutonium for MOX and RTG. We'll talk about that when we get onto that. But we don't want to waste the EU, do we? No, we might as well just put it to use. So Even though this nuclear program is under my control, he can handle the little bits of uranium. It's up to me to handle the danger. Yes, so we've got the mass fabricator here and energy to matter is the achievement. Also, I am producing scrap as well. We've got a little transfer node of items with a world interaction upgrade in here, just keeping it stacked up with cobble and we've got four stacks of scrap. So we'll be back once I've got the rest of the things to craft. Actually, first of all, I should show you the recipes actually. So we need to make a thermal centrifuge. Well, centrifuge which requires all this now this isn't too bad until we look at the mining later this requires stuff not too bad until the iron turning blank which means we need to make a turning table from industrial craft I'm sorry you can hear my brother in the background he just won't shut up unfortunately 
So what we need to do now with the turning table is make that. But make that isn't a problem. If you look at the power, it says a hundred, uh, no, not hundred, a thousand kilounits, K units, which is not power, kinetic. kinetic. Technically power, but not any electricity. Now to make this, we're gonna use an electric, if I can type, electric kinetic generator, which will turn electricity into kinetic units. As you can probably guess, it needs a power of 500 EU per tick to turn in a thousand, and we need a, f a thousand. So that means we're going to have to hook it directly up to our little MFE over here, which outputs 512 EU. So I'm going to get started on making this stuff back in a right. bit. So we should have everything that we need to go. So, first of all, we need an iron turning blank, like so. Next of all, we need a turning table, like so. We also need this, a lathe ink tool, and we need a tiny pile of iron dust. Next of all, we need the electric kinetic generator, which is made like so and will not work because we have unstackable items, aka the RE battery. Oh, and an uncrafted, actually probably, would be the uncrafted motor. We'd be doing that. Like so. So, um, can I steal our electric wrench back, please? If you come and get it. Also, I'm really sorry about the brother. I'll punch him later. Once I get him to shut up. Ooh. Oh, I like... Ah, I see what you're meaning there. I was thinking slightly wider when, when you were saying that. Um, oh, boom. I'm just picking up all the, the couple. Right. The MOX reactors will be in some of the these chambers and the uranium ones will be in those chambers. Yeah, because MOX is slightly more dangerous, isn't it? Pretty much, and if one blows up, at least then they'll destroy the relevant partner, which will have the same design, rather than blow up everything. Yeah, right. So now we need to um, kidnap that. We need to put down, um, let's see, I can get rid of that. Yep, the machine's grinding to a halt. Let's see, we need to put down an electric turning generator. Can I face it up like so? Right, it's gained that. Can we put a leaving tool on it is the question. Do we have to put it there? I am trying to figure out what we need to do with this. Right, so, yeah. Um, mining laser. So we need four to five, three to five, and then the rest is two to five. Four. Is that connected? So that's producing. Oh, you have to add electric motors to it. Ooh, that's that interesting. Fun. Uh, kind of, figuring things out. So I need Five? Oh, that's a uh, ten? I'll be back in a sec once I figure out if I actually need ten. Right, so I think I figured out how this all works. I went into a little test world to understand it. So into here we want to put an electric motor. Then we want to come over to the turning table and we want to click one here, two here, and three on these. And as you can see, this gives us little pieces of iron as it shaves it off like so. so we get a iron turning blank which is pretty nice and we can put these tiny piles of iron dust in here which we can use later so now that we can make the mining laser we need to get some advanced oil redstone energy crystals and advanced circuits so we'll be back once for everything for the thermal centrifuge back. unfortunately screen blast just disappeared i think something happened to his connection it looks like he might be coming back now. I don't know, but it appears like he's back on the little network. Um, so, let's continue on anyway. So, first of all, we want to create the mining laser, which is like so. A nice large amount of resources to make. Uh, you and you. That gets us the mining laser. Laser time. Nice uh, wrong thing. Then we need to do this. So, it should be this. 
that. Oh, actually, no. Before we do that, we want to do this. Like so. Because we need the advanced. Oh, those two are the wrong way around. That's annoying. I don't understand why it does that. Why it can't just like let you do it both ways. Put that like so and like so. So I may have done a little bit of changing around out back here. Um, I added another transformer because tech. This was a little cheaty since it can only take a hundred. Should be able to only take a hundred twenty EU per tick. Plus I do want an actual hundred twenty EU per tick output. So we put that here. Now, unfortunately, due to the current setup, this thing will actually drain all the power straight away. Oh wait, no, no, you put a redstone signal and it continues to con constantly, continuously runs, if I remember correctly. So we've got that down now. Now we can actually start processing uranium, which is a process in of itself. So where is my uranium ore over here? Oh no no, screen blast put it in here, right? We've got 26 uranium. So I want to process one for now. It's then going to go into the thermal centrifuge and I need to add some filters. So I'm gonna yank this out as I always do, just before it. And we need it to be macerated and then I need to sort out the filters. So crushed uranium ore, you then wash it to get purified um clean uranium ore, is it? I can't remember. Um, you get purified crushed uranium ore, which is a bit more fuel efficient, which gives you slightly more than regular. So, doing the crushed uranium ore, you get four and one. Doing the purified, you get five and two, which is very useful. And what we need is the uranium 235. That's the super nuke stuff. Right, so we need to grab that and that, and we need to get these filters. Um, actually, no. We only need this filter because both the stuff needs to go to the top one. So we'll put that in there. Actually, that there and that there. Then we click on here, put it back in the green one, and we should User be good your to channel. go. And Screen Blast is back. So we'll put the uranium ore in here, and everything should be automated and good to go. So we're back Evil once we. Blue screen of death. Uh, Ooh, that's not nice. Right, so just let this uranium ore process and then we'll be back. Right, so now I'm going to start some processing on the uranium. We've still got some more crushed uranium ore to be cleaned up, but that's going to take a while. I'm going to put the purified uranium ore in the thermal centrifuge. Now I've currently got on a hazmat suit. It's just basically orange dye and rubber in the grand scheme of things. And rubber just straight up there. Most expensive thing is the scuba helmet, which actually works with scuba tanks, to be honest. You can swim in lava with it as well. Oh yes, that's a very nice feature. So whilst we're just purifying some of the uranium, I'm gonna make a canning machine like so. And stick it there. And we're gonna leave it in its first mode. It has four modes. This mode is for canning solid matter, either uranium or food into cans which are both very, very nice. So the thermal centrifuge is heating up. It needs to get, what was it, f saying 3,000 heat units. Now, how's our solar power doing? We are, I think we're slowly draining, ever so slowly, so we may need to create more solar panels in the future. But when we're processing uranium, we're gonna want to do it in big gulps goes like we are now so once this thing heats up we'll be back right so as we can see the thermal centrifuge is about to complete one operation we are now producing uranium 238 and 235 and this is going to take a while to process but thanks to having the hazmat suit we don't get irradiated if we take any of this out but for now we're not going to take any of it out because it's probably the most oh. Oh, and look at this. We have a storage box here in case you don't want to hold it in your hand. Mm. Oh, nice. So it's a handheld containment box, not so you don't irradiate yourself when you're not in hazmat suit. Probably so you can actually trans, so you can switch out into your jetpack and stuff and fly mm. it quick before getting irradiated to death. Nice. But we are going well. Um, this is made from leg casings, like so. And around chest, it's not too expensive. 
So yeah, we'll be back once we've processed all our uranium. So we've made a little bit more progress and we've come up with a design, or should I say I've just taken my old design from my monster series on the reactors. So let's come down here first and down here we have our reactors. Inside there is the main reactor surrounded by six chambers giving us full access to the reactor. Over here is going to be scrap being pumped into the mass fabricator. Now this is going to be our uranium reactor. It's basically used to deplete uranium to produce plutonium. Um, this way over here, once we get over here, down here, uh, let's get my electric jetpack on. I said let's get my electric jetpack on. Oh, have you filled out? Where was the hole? Is the hole still there? Yes. Oh, you're just going to dig down, right? Down here is where the MOX reactors are going to go, just floating in the middle here with plenty of space around so we can cool them, which is what we're going to do. So, for the reactor, we are going to need a few items to go inside its internals. So, we're going to go with a 12 ura dual uranium rod setup with 24 overclocked heat vents, these ones, six reactor platings and 12 component heat vents and that should keep a stable reactor definitely won't explode it may get close to being critical but by then it should have run out of fuel it didn't explode last series but they may have tweaked things slightly so we'll be back once we make all this because this is stupendously expensive let's just give you an idea advanced alloy on their plate not too bad to be honest, but this bit is where it gets stupid. And I mean stupid. Really stupid. And that is also stupid. Oh, we need a lot of heat vents. Right, we're back. Now, this reactor project was a slightly larger investment than I was first realised. We are kind of running low on copper. I'm currently just producing as much copper cable as possible because we need a metric butt ton of motors. I need a metric butt ton. We need a stack and 16. Uh, no, uh, we need 36 motors, which requires a stack and 6. No, not a stack and 16. Yes, a stack and 16. Am I doing the math right? 36 and 36 is. No, oh, I can't remember the math. A lot of motors, anywho. We need eight more motors from what we've got. Is that? Make sure you like so we'll see if you can get better at math. Mm. 36. Mm. But 36 minus 2 is 4. Right. We need 64 and 8 copper mm. coils. Right, I got that. Right, so, yeah. Um, you've been doing a little work yourself, haven't you? A bit more infrastructure? Yes. Evolve infrastructure. Yep, over here you've got a nice alternate path to your base rather than scooching around the edge as we've been doing. More direct to the nuclear reactor, just in case of emergency reactor solutions. Um, may I advise, you know at the side Jill, where you've got the solid blocks here on your stir bit? Um, uh, I'm not psychic, so I'll have to look at it. I'll wait for you to get here. Uh, you're using the fancy stone bricks and you've got all my tin ore berry bushes down here. I think I'll have you. Yes. Right. Um, are you here? Oh uh, yeah, I right, can you see you. You see these bits here? See? Put slopes on them and then put stone bricks in those slopes. Trust me, it looks a lot nicer. That's fine. But it looks better, trust me. I've done it before. Right, so yeah, so unfortunately we're going to end the episode here. So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, hit that like button. Any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll answer them if possible. News the channel, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Stay well, and Survivor out. Make sure you subscribe, otherwise there might be a nuclear disaster, wink wink. <laughs>